Well, hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, it's, it's myself and Bailey tonight. Um, all in red. Red's coming to join us. So it has been a uh, hot minute since I've made a video. It's been like, look at my girls. I'm so proud of these girls. It's been like months. I mean, we're all, we could almost be encroaching on a year since I've uh, made a video. It's It's been a minute. Um, but I finally had a moment tonight. She almost she almost slept so long, Bailey, with her nap that it, the sun would have set and I wouldn't have got a chance to. So here we are. But uh, this is just an update here as we're actually getting close to, to kidding. And we haven't really... Here in the next couple weeks, we have to finally clean out all the sheds again. And then we need to run all the girls that we have through the chute and get them all trimmed up and, and ready for, for kidding. And for just for winter. Um, but just give you a see and I feel so bad I watched Brandon's video but I don't remember what he said so anyway this will be quick because we've been doing a lot just not really like goat related stuff um but look at these girls I'm so proud of these girls this isn't the best video here here maybe I'll try and you can't really see them they're just these are our our three keeper does from rebel and they are great personalities and they're just beautiful girls aren't you girls beautiful i think why it plans on showing she's ornery plans on showing these girls next year for fair and maybe we'll get the chance to either jackpot them or uh um take them to some registered shows hopefully but yeah so we got i don't trip on something um we got those three that we've kept back that are just, and they're not even, uh, they're by our standards on full feed, but they're, they're not, they're not even getting, cause the kids are in charge of feeding them and the kids, I've seen how much they feed them and their full feed is not our full feed, but they still look really good. So that's encouraging to me. Um, but here we got the, that we've kept, they all need their hooves done, done. Hopefully we can get that done here next week. Now, the real question is. I don't know when anybody's do. <laughs> oh, and never mind the all the trees that need to come down. That's a that's another another project. Um, I'm pretty sure these two. Okay, so the problem is Rebel was relentlessly after these two girls um, for hey Abby for about three months straight. So I have no idea. The earliest they could be due, um, these two would be. I think the first to second week in December. So we'll have to see. Um, and then we have, oh my gosh, Phoebe. And Phoebe, you can never, she carries her pregnancies very well. You can't really tell. So um, again, I'm not sure. I mean, we have a three month window that we're working with because he was just after them all the time. And then we have Jim and that's Mango, right? Pretty sure that's Mango. Macy names them all very similar names. I'm not really sure what that one is. Um, I want to say her name's Carmel. Again, the kids named them, and then I forget what their names are. But these are all girls. So these two carry their babies way out. Those two, like huge. But these girls all like to hide them really, really well. And they could still be not due for another, well, at this rate, two to three months. And so... So yeah, and I still need hay before the sun goes down. Um, but then over here has been our most recent project that is not actually 100% complete yet because we did not uh, measure it out correctly. But look at that. Look at, the video doesn't do him justice. He's ginormous and he's still like a child. So the kids really wanted to get in to show chickens. They loved it during fair this last year. because so we brought our just, you know, like farm chickens. Mm -mm. I know. Do you see him? His name is Thor. Oh, they're they're Buff Orpingtons from Ohio. So this was a this was a thing. But uh, yeah. So that's Thor. And then the other two are, well, one is named Jelly Filled Donut. So the the three big kids, each of them have a have a chicken. Wyatt's is Thor, the the rooster. And then the two hens are Macy and Jax. And we have Jelly Filled Donut and Sunny. Um. So. 
so yes we shall see but but this with the with the rock and the paneling and the shed and it all being all being done I think I actually have some oh no what's the matter um I have some videos of of this all taking place that I can maybe run in at the end of this but we've been doing that and then over here and then here what we hope to do is we're gonna move all of this here in the next couple weeks and um, I don't we, we hope to have all of this rocked through here and then put get the pallets for now it will be a lean-to eventually but get pallets here that we can keep chopping wood for because and hopefully I can figure out how to transpose it but uh we have a, a huge wood cook stove that I've been using that I'm absolutely in love with oh so that's what that's what we've been doing and then over here let's see if I can figure it out. over in this area we've torn out some trees you can't really see down there um, but that's where the new coop will go I don't know if Brandon told you all this I don't know if you're really silly if you already did I don't know I I live with him, so I'm not sure what's a repeat and what's not, but you can't really, I can't show you with my finger, but over there on the far side in the trees, we're going to put a new coop. Um, so that's what we've been up to outside of goat stuff. So not a very exciting video, but there's just always lots of things happening, especially when you have just lots and lots of children. Um, so... But anyway, that's all for now. I hope to cut in some of the videos I took of them doing are they playing um, some of the video that I have of them getting the coop area set up and I don't know if I have any of them splitting wood but of our new wood cook stove and and exciting things like that so but anyway that's all I have for now so with that we'll catch you in the next video well here she is and she is beautiful I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I just buy materials <laughs> and then I space shit out evenly and I say, yeah, looks good enough. Put a goat shed on it, stick a chicken in it. <laughs> but smile for the video, act like you're happy. Everything's going well. It's okay. I don't know what that means. So I have been inside doing all of the, you know, inside things that I have to do every day. And this kid and this kid have been working. Just, Why did you have to put nails in? I did nothing. I did nothing. No, I'm talking to the camera. Oh, okay. So, and they've already got one of the panels down. They're just working. Oh, look, it's the fucking red chicken. Bailey's coming to help. Bailey got the tape 
kids. Yeah. They'll keep each other warm. They will. They're very big and fat and expensive. <laughs> they should keep themselves warm. Oh, I don't, how big are these chickens? They're pretty big. They're sore. But grown up. They're grown up. Dad, dad, dad. There's not enough room for you. What tape measure is this Sit down. Um, the dangle, dangle is it in your pocket again? Though. No, I just set it down here. I have not moved. <laughs> Hold on, where'd Red Chicken go? We gotta catch the chicken. She fucking runs away like Flash in the <laughs> Hold on, we're looking for that fucking Red Chicken. That's her name. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Where is she? Did you get her? No. I said I found her. Well, herd her out. Find the bike. Under the bay. Bailey, go get the chicken. She's go get the red chicken, Bailey. Where is she? Under the bay. I need Leave the door open. We gotta get the chicken out. Yeah, mom, she's smart. <laughs> yeah, you have to catch her if you want her out. Exactly. No, she'll go out. She will? Not your friend. Find the chicken. Find the chicken. Put it. Tap it. Go! Well, no, stand here. Cut you. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs>